Hola, I'm Taco. And today I'm gonna teach you how to fix your iPod. First of all, you must practice safety. And I also stole the cone from Caltrans that I'm gonna keep right here so that maybe I don't get hit by a car. Because maybe a car will come. Let's get started. First of all, you're gonna need a racer, and I happen to have one right next to me. Let me just get over here and grab it right there, just like that. Now, if you're gonna do like three, four, six, seventy-two iPods, maybe reach over and grab a little bit of this. Huh? For good time's sake, let's grab a little bit to get things started, huh? Salud. Grab a seat, come on in, cabrones, and let's show you how to do this, huh? Okay, so what you're gonna need a blow dryer. Blow dry the screen of the iPod to loosen up the adhesive so that you're able to take it off with the eraser. So go ahead and go get a blow dryer from like your mama or your, your Haina or, uh, or Sancha. I got this from my Haina. She let me borrow it and she kind of had no choice because she was the one who broke my iPad. What happened was I was with their sister and my Haina comes home early I didn't know she was going to be early. She got fired, so she came home early. She saw me and her sister, and, and she's all pissed off. And she's like, that's my sister. That's my sister. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. She takes off, like, all her shit, you know? Like, she said, oh, I thought, like, she wanted to get down, too. You know what I mean? But she didn't. She wanted to fight. So she comes in, and she, and she starts beating up her sister. I get all pissed off because I ain't finished yet. And then she kicks my ass. And her ass, and then my iPod was on my uh on my thigh, and it's like a lingerie uh, iPod holder just for like moments like that. So in the midst of all the you know the the fighting and the chichis and everybody and throwing me on the wall, my iPod had broke. So now I gotta fix it. But there's many reasons why maybe your iPod broke. Maybe you know you got in the fight with those uh, chavalas from the other barrio, or maybe um, you were running from the policia and you fell over the fence and you happen to land on your iPod on a rock. Those are just normal situations that I can think of as to why maybe you broke your iPod. But I don't want to keep on talking. I want to get to the tutorial because I don't like when people talk too much. When I watch tutorials, I want to know how to f do it. So I'm going to show you how to f do it. Get a f blow dryer, all right? Stop lagging. I'm talking because you didn't, you didn't get the blow dryer yet, stupido. Come on, hurry up. Keep it at about maybe five inches away. Blow dry it for maybe 10, eight, 10 seconds. The reason why you're gonna blow dry it is to loosen up the adhesive so that it's easy to pull the screen off. Point it right here, turn it on, and blow dry the mother Okay, that's good enough. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get the racer. I know, I'm sorry I'm wasting good sh You can only put the racer in one place. You can only stick it in right here, okay? If you stick it in here, here, or here, you're f You can only stick it in one place. <laughs> That's what she said. Huh? Who said that? She said it. Who said it? Your wife, bro. Perra. Okay, get the razor. Stick it right here, okay? Kind of wiggle it in and get it loose. She said that to you? Okay, get it right here. This tool is good, too. Right here. There are two screws. There's one right here in the corner. And there's another one right here. I gotta get that one out. And I gotta get that one out right there. This iPod is a little f There we go, cabron. It's always good to have some tweezers. Use your cocaine, I mean razor. There we go. It's not just good for cocaine, huh? <laughs> okay. So there goes the EMI shield. 
We're gonna put it right next to the two screws that go to it. We gotta take off the LCD connectors. The two LCD connectors are the first one on the bottom, and the second one from the bottom. There goes one, there goes the other. And then just pull it off, grab it right here. There it is. There goes the screen. Look, it's a boy, it's a boy. We can just throw that out of here. Go ahead and grab your new screen right here. We're gonna connect the LCD connectors back to the logic board. We're just gonna reverse what we did to take it off. Connect these LCD connectors right back where they were before. I'm sorry, cabrones. It goes this way. <laughs> This is uh, not the best tutorial that I've ever done. If it looks like this, then you're good. Bring it in together, put it right back in, and you'll hear a little click. I don't know if you heard that, but I did. And all that really matters is me anyways. I don't really care about you guys. I heard a little click. Now that you connected the LCD connectors to the logic board, we are going to need to put back the EMI shield. I like to use a tweezer. Use the tweezer to put the screw back in the hole. So now that you have the EMI shield secure and tightened down, you can go ahead and close the LCD screen back in. If you notice right inside there, there is a uh, groove so that the LCD cords can fit inside and it fits perfectly. So slowly bring it in and close the uh, screen back on top of the residual adhesive that is left and use that residual adhesive to seal the screen back. Turn it back on. And just like that, Taco fixed an iPod. <laughs> Me estoy muriendo de hambre por tu cariño. <risa>